Hey guys, today we're gonna go ahead and learn how to root the Ace TC10. Let's go ahead and do this, baby. All right, guys, first thing you will want to do uh, is go ahead and go into settings, right? And go into about, and you will see software information, all right? And go ahead and go to um, more, and go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times, all right? Until it says uh, developer mode has been enabled. I've already did it, so it says I'm already a developer. Once you have that done, go hit the back button three times. Now you will have developer options, all right? So go into developer options, hit OK. Uh, make sure OEM unlocking is checked on, all right? If it's not checked on, we're not gonna be able to unlock the bootloader, so make sure you do that. All right, once that's done, we're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and power off our HTC 10. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put it into fast boot download mode. All right, once powered off, go ahead and hold down the volume down and the power button. Go ahead and hold it down until you see uh, the HTC logo. All right, let go, and this should put you into uh, HTC download mode. All right, that's what it is. We're gonna go ahead and connect a USB Type-C cable to your computer. All right, that's it, let's go to our computer. All right, you will need a bunch of files. Um, if you're using uh, Windows, you will also need HTC driver, this file here. Also, you need Beta Super SU, also you need Twerp, also you need fastboot.zip. Go ahead and download fastboot.zip, double click it and unzip it. You'll get a folder called fastboot uh, with a bunch of files in it. It has all the files you need for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I'm gonna be using Windows 8.1 here, but if you're using a Mac or Linux, go ahead and follow along. Uh, follow my tutorial on my site. Uh, it will have all the alternate code you're supposed to type, but it's nearly identical. All right, once you have that, um, if you're using Windows, double click on HCC driver, blah, blah, MSI to install the drivers, all right? Um, once you have the drivers installed, you can go ahead and check um, your device manager. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So go go ahead and open up control panel, all right? Go to hardware and sound, go to device manager, all right? And you should see uh, Android USB devices. You should see my HCC or something that says Android ADB interface. If you see that, you're good to go, all right? Next, what we're gonna go ahead and type, uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up a command prompt uh, or terminal for Mac or Linux. Go to start, search, and type CMD for Windows to get into uh, the command prompt. We're gonna go ahead and type CD downloads, enter. We're gonna go ahead and type CD fastboot, enter. And next we're gonna go ahead and type um, this thing here, fastboot OEM get identifier token. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it. Um, you can also copy and paste it. I'll put the code all on my site. All right, fastboot OEM get identifier token. All right, um, go ahead and copy from where uh, the arrow cuts off. So go ahead and copy, whoops, do a right click mark and go ahead and copy all of this. All right, make sure there's no spaces. Copy it like that, do a right click and go ahead and um, copy it into a notepad. All right, make sure there's no spaces. All right, you should be good to go. All right, if that's um, the way it is. Now go ahead and go to htcdev.com. All right, this will allow you to unlock your uh, phone. Make sure you sign up for an account. I already signed up, as you can see here. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So go ahead and choose on unlock bootloader. Get started. All right, it says select device. Um, you can select ACC 10. Uh, or you could just, I like to just skip to all other supported models. It's the same thing. So go ahead and select that, begin unlock bootloader, say yes. And just go ahead and check these off. Proceed to unlock instructions. You can skip all of this, all right? Go all the way to the bottom because we, I just showed you how to do it. All right, go ahead and skip all the way to the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and right click and paste our device identifier token, all right? Oh, were well, we supposed to copy the... Oh, you know what, sorry. We're gonna have to go back here. 
Go ahead and do a right click mark and copy from the arrow actually. Copy this whole thing. My bad. Do a right click and I'm going to go ahead and replace that with identifier token exactly like that. Submit and it says token submitted successfully. All right, this will send you the code. So go ahead and go into your uh, email account. And if you give it like a couple of seconds, accdev.com will send you the file. All right. Um, so go ahead and download this file. I'm going to go ahead and download it. All right. And go into a show in folder and go ahead and copy this file. All right, into the fast boot folder. You should have unzipped all the files into fast boot. All right, go ahead and unzip it here. All right, just like that. And next, we're going to go ahead and type fast boot flash unlock token unlock token dot bin. All right, I'm just going to copy this, copy and paste it into the command prompt. So let's go ahead and paste it in there. And this should uh, give us a new thing here where we can choose. So I'm going to go ahead and enter. All right, it says unlock bootloader. So go ahead and use the arrow keys to choose yes and hit the power key. Now this will erase everything on your phone. Unlocking bootloader on any HTC device will erase everything. So go ahead and hit the power button. Uh, if you didn't make a backup and you need to save something on your phone, stop right now, um, reboot and save everything you need and then um, restart these root instructions. Now this will unlock the bootloader. Now we can actually install Twerp Recovery, uh, install custom ROMs. Um, now this will erase everything, so we will have to wait for it to reboot. Um, so let it reboot. All right, I'm gonna just place it over here um, so you guys can see the progress. All right, and I will be back. All right, guys, it should be rebooting a bunch of times. And then uh, once you see this ACC logo, you can let it reboot, um, but I'm impatient. Um, so what we're going to do is reset it. Go ahead and hold down power and volume down. All right. That way we can go ahead and do the rest of the rooting process. I keep holding it down and it will actually reboot into um, the recovery. And once you see the logo let go, this should put you back into uh, download mode. All right. And we'll go on to the next step here. All right. It should now say unlocked there. Let's go ahead and connect it to our computer back here. And let's go back to our computer. All right. Next, what you want to do is go to your download folder. Do a right click on the twerp blah blah dot img. Copy. And go ahead and go into your fast boot folder and go ahead and do right click paste. All right, I've already copied it over as you can see. It should be in your fast food folder directory. Uh, once you have that, we're ready to go to the next step. We're just gonna go ahead and simply flash the twerp recovery. Go ahead and type fast boot space flash space recovery space type TWRP and then hit the tab key on your keyboard and that will fill out the rest of the file name for you. And this will flash the recovery all right, and if you don't get any errors, we're good to go. Next, we're going to go ahead and go back to our phone. Hit the power key to continue. Now go down to reboot to bootloader and then hit the power key. This will put you into bootloader. Now we'll be able to go into uh, the new Torp Recovery. So go ahead and go down to boot to recovery mode. Hit the power button. All right, and this will put you into the new twerp recovery. Give it a second here, and it should boot into twerp recovery. All right, boom shakalaka. All right, it will say um, de decrypt data, enter password. Just say cancel, all right? And just keep, um, say it to keep read only, all right? So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wipe. All right, we're going to do format data and say yes. Oops. All right, this will format data. Um, go ahead and go hit home. Uh, this is very important. Go to reboot bootloader, not recovery. 
because if you do recovery, it won't put you back into the recovery. Now you're in back in the bootloader, go ahead and select boot to recovery mode, hit the power button. All right, this will put you back into twerp, uh, but now we won't have uh, encrypted data, so we can actually flash and root uh, the Super SU. All right, go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. Uh, next, go ahead and plug it onto your computer and go back to your computer, go to your download folder and do a right click copy on Super SU v 272 force encrypt.zip, copy. Go to your HCC10, copy it anywhere, paste it into the internal storage. All right, once that's done, we don't need the USB cable finally. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and install SuperSU, swipe, and this will uh, install SuperSU. Now make sure you install this version, otherwise you may lose the radio, which happened to me. Um, so I actually had to remake this root video. Uh, but once that's done and reboot, you should be good to go. Uh, you should have a fully rooted uh, phone. All right, go ahead and reboot system now. And we're gonna let this set until it boots. And we should be good to go. Hi guys, so it's booted up. I'm gonna go ahead and start. Uh, let me just go through the step here. Choose your carrier. Um, my radio is working. Hit OK, skip anyway. And we should have a fully rooted device. I am just gonna go next. Skip, skip, we can do it later. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, my 4G LT working and Super SU, go ahead and tap on it. If you don't get any errors, you're fully rooted. Now let me go ahead and download a rooted app to give you a full verification. So let me go ahead and sign in to Google and download Titanium Backup app real quick. All right guys, moment of the truth. If I have root, if you have full root, you should see Boom shakalaka. If you see super user requests, you have fully rooted your HTC 10. By the way, Titanium Backup app is also a great app um, to back up your apps, your children, wife, kids, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching this video. You should have a fully rooted HTC 10. If you enjoy this video, if this video has helped you root your phone, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Subscribe for more root videos, review videos, all that good stuff. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.